Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we will discuss the symptoms of carcinoma rectum. So, what is C A rectum? It is basically a growth inside the rectum which is malignant. And by malignant, we mean that it will grow rapidly in size, it will invade the surrounding tissues, and it might metastasize to other organs in the body. So the patient that is most probably going to present to you is going to be more than 55 years of age. But there are always exceptions to the rule and younger patients can also present with C A rectum. And in fact these are the ones who are diagnosed late because generally we do not expect carcinoma in young people. So what symptoms can such a growth inside the rectum cause? So the most common symptom of C A rectum is no symptom. These patients are asymptomatic for a long period of time. They have the carcinoma inside, but for a long time it is not large enough to produce the symptoms. And the symptoms that are produced are generally very vague. So that is why screening is highly recommended for early colorectal carcinoma diagnosis. So now we will discuss the real thing. That is the symptoms with which patients come to you. So suppose this is the growth inside the rectum and this is the rectum. When hard stools try to pass across this growth, it's, it will uh, ulcerate and will cause bleeding. So the most common symptom of carcinoma rectum is PR bleeding, per rectal bleeding. And it is the earliest and most common symptom. And any type of bleeding can occur. It could be slight, it could be massive. Usually the bleeding is slight and occurs at the end of defecation or it may just even stain under clothing. So any of bleeding is a sign of C rectum. Excessive bleeding can even cause anemia and the symptoms of anemia. And uh, in, one important thing is that it this bleeding uh, mimics internal hemorrhoids. So we should remember that whenever persistent bleeding occurs, even in the presence of hemorrhoids, that is we know that the patient has hemorrhoids even then carcinoma must be ruled out. So now we'll come to the next symptom. The next symptom is altered bowel habits. Patient may have constipation, patient may have diarrhea. So if the growth is in these, uh, this rectosigmoidal junction, if the annular carcinoma of rectosigmoidal junction, annular means ring shape, as this is a narrower part, it will lead to, lead to obstruction in the passage, passage of stool. So it will lead to increasing constipation with the passage of time. Uh, apart from that, if the growth is in the wider part, which is the ampulla of the rectum, in that case, uh, the main bulk of stool might not be able to pass, but smaller semi-solid type stool will seep across this tumor, collecting the lower part of the rectum, especially during the night. And in the morning, patient may defecate out um, uh, semi-solid type uh, stool mixed with blood and slime, which is called early morning diarrhea or spurious diarrhea. So this uh, this may occur. Now we'll come to the next symptom, tenismus. Tenismus is a sensation of incomplete defecation, a sensation that more feces has to be passed. Patient wants to defecate out, he has the urge to defecate, but when he tries to, he is unable to do so and only small amount of spurious diarrhea is passed. So it, it basically mostly occurs in case of tumors of the lower half of the rectum. And patient needs to empty the bowel several times a day. A day. And patient might, might also feel like having a mass or ball type thing inside the rectum which he is unable to pass out. Okay, next let's come to the next symptom. The next symptom is experienced by some people which is change in stool shape. Some people notice it. Uh, stool may become narrow, pencil thin, or they could come an indentation in the shape of the stool. Then pain. It is not a symptom in initial stages of C rectum. It occurs in very advanced stages and when the mass is very large enough to cause severe constipation, patient might feel colicky sort of abdominal pain. And um, if uh, in later stages, if the cancer invades the prostate or bladder, in that case, 
and if the cancer invades sacral plexus in that case patient might experience severe sort of pain then the last but not the least symptom is weight loss unexplained weight loss associated with weakness and fatigue can occur and if it is present it is also suggestive of hepatic metastasis and it must be ruled out weight loss is also due to an additional factor which is anemia if severe anemia is present due to blood loss it also adds to the weight loss and uh, weakness and fatigue especially so that is it these are all the symptoms summary rectal bleeding blood in stools change in bowel habits bowel doesn't feel empty or tenesmus abdominal discomfort and weight loss so one last thing to be noted is that symptoms of many rectal diseases are similar and overlap and the above mentioned symptoms can also be due to some benign cause but it is important to rule out carcinoma if any of these symptoms is present so that's it thank you hope you found it beneficial and if you did do like and subscribe